Our top story here at 6, Gavin Newsom kicking off his second term as governor today, taking part in an inauguration march and celebration at the state capitol. Our capitol correspondent, Aton Wallace, was there and joins us with the governor's remarks and reaction from Republican lawmakers. Well, all quiet now outside the state capitol, but earlier just after noon, this place was packed. More than 1,000 people turning out to look on as Gavin Newsom marked what he vows will be a successful second term as California's 40th governor. The duties upon which I am about to the enter. The duties upon which I'm about to enter. Congratulations. Thank you. Girl. And with that, Governor Gavin Newsom publicly marked the beginning of his new term in office. He started the day taking part in a blocks-long march from the Tower Bridge to the steps of the state capitol, all part of a message he hoped would promote unity and freedom on this day, the second anniversary of the January 6, 2021 insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. The ugliness that overflowed on January 6, 2021, we know this, was in fact decades in the making, fomented by people who have a very different vision of America's future. <laughs> very different. Red state politicians and the media empire behind them selling regression as progress, oppression as freedom. Call into question what America is to become, freer and fairer or reverting to a darker past. But on California, your state, our state, that offers a reason for hope. That, he argues, is in part because of the state's commitment to abortion rights and the role we play on a global stage. Now the fourth largest economy in the world. More venture capital, more startups than any other state in America, leading the world in the transition to a low-carbon, green growth future. Newsom wasting no time going after oil companies he argues are taking part in price gouging. He wants them to face a financial penalty. Big oil raking in record windfall profits at your expense. But he did acknowledge California does face its challenges. We must continue our quest for an honest accounting for where we've fallen short. None of us are naive on affordability, on, on housing, on homelessness. Issues Republican state leaders argue Newsom's tenure has only made worse. Education, cost of living, homelessness, and the crime rate. Those are the four issues that are the top of mind for Californians that Governor Newsom so far has shown He's not serious about solving. I just want the public to know and your viewers to know that the Republicans are coming to the table in a bipartisan manner with real solutions, and we're hoping that he'll work with us. And looking ahead, it's back to work for the governor. Next week, he'll unveil his rough draft budget for the next fiscal year. That is significant because the state faces a potential deficit worth $25 billion. Reporting here outside the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.